Hello, everybody. This is Jerry DeMeo from MortgageDadZoom.com and Family First Funding. I added a little music to the routine. Let's stop the music. So, topic for today. The topic for today is the weekly mortgage rate update for 12-9-2022. If it's a Friday, I'm giving you a mortgage rate update. But this is a very special Friday, 12 9 22 is my wife's birthday. And I just wanted to say happy birthday, babe. I love you so much. So back to the mortgage rate update. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I'm going to ask, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like this video. And so we had another sideways week for mortgage rates. What does that mean by sideways? They really haven't gone up or down all week. It's been a sideways week. And last week was also a sideways week. We've been sideways for two consecutive weeks. And we haven't gone up really in, we're at four to five weeks, maybe even six weeks. I'm looking here um, back on October 20th. Rates really were at the worst. And let's go to the chart for a minute. And let, let, let me show you now. This is the mortgage backed security chart. That's how mortgages are traded. The lowest points on the chart are the highest rates, and the higher points on the chart are the lower rates. So back in August, interest rates really were at the best we've seen in, in you know, well, most of the really uh, in a long time. August was the best. We were in the high fours, mid to high 4%. And then we just kept getting worse and worse. This going downhill is rates worse and worse and worse. And really, they hit their bottoms on around October the 19th, 20th. Rates were seven and a quarter, seven and a half percent. We were worried they were going to go to eight, eight and a half, ten. We didn't, we just didn't know because they just kept rising. But since then, since October 20th, you know, we've seen rates basically improving all along. And now since since mid-November, we've been trading in this range right here. And what does that range? That that range is really somewhere between you know six and a half and the high fives in that in that same range for the last since since mid-November. So that's great news. Um, anytime rates aren't continually getting worse, that's great news. Now, as I've mentioned in other videos, we have on the 13th, next Tuesday, the CPI, which is the big number the Fed's been watching, and that could either move rates up or move rates down or may- maybe keep them the same. So that really wasn't much of an answer, but we're waiting on this CPI report on consumer price index that's on tuesday and that's gonna help determine what direction rates are going to be going into to end the year and into next year now today we had another report today's report was the ppi report which is the um producer price index report and before i go to the videotape so the the um, producer price index is is basically the inflation for producers as opposed to for consumers. So um, I'm going to share this. Now, we got some month over month n- numbers and year over year numbers. And I'm going to go to the videotape with Barry Habib. He's one of the like legends in, in, our, in the mortgage rate industry. And he's going to talk about the PP. I numbers and how they look today. And we're going to go to, he's going to go to a chart. It's really good. And listen, it, it, to me, it shows good news, at least with the inflation and like, have a look for yourself and see. So here we go. And it does give perspective as to how much progress has been made. You can see from March, that peak, we've really come down and now we're back down to inflationary levels from around June of 2021, June, July of 2021. So listen, is that the right direction? And it's a- So what Barry is saying is that 
you're seeing numbers going in the right direction. And, and I happen to agree with that. That's good news for mortgage rates. So if you have any questions for you, your family, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, anyone you know who may be interested in buying right now and wants to find out what's out there, what programs are available, we have two one buy downs, we have one year, we have we have adjustable rate mortgages, we have grant programs that are really aggressive that are helping first time home buyers buy homes. We have CRA programs in, in moderate and, and lower income areas that have way below market rates, some with no PMI. But if you have questions, all you need to do is go to mortgage-zoom.com. That'll be me. And schedule your one-on-one -on -one appointment. And it's going to look a lot like this. I do the appointments on Zoom so we could be face-to-face. -face. I can pull numbers up. You can look at them. But don't forget to schedule an appointment and find out. And, and I don't care if you're not looking to buy in the next month. You may not be looking to buy for another year, but now maybe maybe two years, but now is the time to start prepping and make sure that you have all your ducks in a row so that you can buy when the time comes. So I want to thank you again for joining. This is Jerry DeMeo from Family First Funding and mortgage-zoom.com. And it's my wife's birthday. So happy birthday, baby. I love you. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this video. Thank you again for joining. And we're going to put a little back to the music. We'll see you next week.